So, uh, could you, like, take me to the rescue zone, or the safe room, or wherever you guys are staying? As long as none of you is infected, I'm okay with staying with you. I'll just hold on to these cipher codes for you. That way you can focus on, you know, what you do best. Oh no. No, they sent in reinforcements. They're gonna break in. Oh no, 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 no! Oh my god, you... you did it! That was insane! Hey, listen, we need to leave now, hurry! And before they send more reinforcements our way. Man, I hope you guys have some food. I mean, real food. Not just chips and crackers. That smell. So, this is your safe place, huh? I guess it'll do. Now, thanks a lot for taking me here. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, and here's your cypher codes, by the way. I'll just put them right here. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, it's here's my right. hero. I can already tell that the program is in. My screen lit up like a Christmas tree. All right, I'm pretty sure I'll be looking through the security cameras at the North Wing in no time. 
Thanks a lot, Jake. I feel a lot less claustrophobic now that I can see somewhere else in this tiny little horrible grubby smelly room. Really appreciate it. But dumbass change jobs like socks. Something. All right. Uh, but I don't think she'll be in trouble. Be really tired. No, she has I'll a job. I'll just sit here and. Yeah, like I know. Just I just wonder. It seems Hello. like I've been here for such a long time already. Don't please. You've been here for a week. I know, but I haven't slept much during that week. And you know, when you don't sleep for a week, it feels like a freaking century, man. Get some sleep. You got shot in the shoulder. Hey, Jake, you got the card with a new code. Perfect. Plug it in, and I'll start the upload. Ready. All right, uh, Terry, could you come here a second? Yeah, what's wrong, Ben? Well, remember when I was digging through the archives and I found out about Matthew's file not being there? Yeah, so? Well, after that happened, I just stopped looking, you know, I focused on the task at hand with all the ciphers and that. But now, I just went back to read the files and... Well, I can't find Takio's file either. What do you mean? I mean, Takio wasn't officially hired as a security guard here. What? Oh, well, I, I, don't, I don't know for sure. Maybe the files are incomplete or something. It could be stored elsewhere. Yeah, I don't what's know. What's going on, man? Fuck this shit. I'm so sick of this. Let's play truth or die. Look at this motherfucking gun. You have exactly five seconds to tell us who you are, or your brains will paint the walls, feel me? Ryan, drop the gun and calm down. Fuck that, I'm sick of you lying scumbags. Holy shit! The fuck was God that? God damn it, did you see that? The cipher head! Where's the cipher head? He took it! And the radio! Get the other lights on! I am sorry it had to come to this. But I just could not waste any more of my time waiting for you to find a solution. Forgive me for leaving you now. You son of a bitch! When I see you again, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna punch your butthole! Brian, back off. Yo, how can you punch a hole, man? Takeo, what is it you're after? Are you trying to find a way out on your own? No. I am not looking for a way out. Then what? My sister. She is trapped somewhere in this facility. Well, why don't you just tell me her name? I, I can track her down through the files. I already looked, Ben. She was reassigned right before this mess started, and it remained unclear on which wing she was. But I at least narrowed my research down to level three. I'm already there now, thanks to all of you. I promise I will come back for you once I find her. I left the North Wing Core access opened. What's her name? Maybe I know her. There aren't many female scientists working on level three. Most of them can't handle it. Her name is Mia, and she can handle anything. So, the boss's son is here as well. What a touching family reunion. I should have known you would betray him. Ito, my father always despised you. He never approved your methods, only your results. Haha, <laughs> is that so? Without me, the previous outbreak and this one would have grown out of control. The city would be overrun by now. Maybe. But it's over now. And my father sent me here for two reasons. Find his daughter, and terminate you. I can't wait to finally meet you, Raito. Kore wa wasure rarenai, tatakai ni naru daru. Taishita, tatakai ni wa naranai daru. Wow. What the fuck just happened? That was... His son. Whose son? I don't know his name. He's the CEO of the company that runs this place. Only Janice knew him. Who the fuck is Janice? It's not a person. It's two individuals. East and West. One problem. Two opposite solutions that cannot coexist. What the hell are you talking about, Terry? It's... It's a legend down here. The prison. The secondary research. The technology and the weapons development. Everything down here are just secondary activities to increase revenues and finance Janus and their two projects. What do you mean? This facility was founded to host a project. The other project. There had been way too many incidents when they were both handled at the same location. No, I mean, what two projects? Posterous and Terminus. How do you know about this? Why do you think I was sent here? Okay, time out. You guys can talk about who knows what, how, when, later. All right, right now, I want to know. It's a long story. A 
It goes way back to the 70s, when the Chernobyl reactor was built. Are we talking about THE Chernobyl? Yeah. The Eastern Janus was just a young genius back then. The youngest to actually work in the field. Raito's father unified Janus, East and West, working together for the first time. But even though the goal was the same, the methods were drastically different. I don't know all the details, but in theory, Terminus took over Posterus, and Posterus was ultimately shut down. That was over three years ago. And now the boss realized Terminus was a mistake, and he sent his boy to rescue his daughter and clean up the mess? Yeah, pretty much. But what about the creepy guy over the radio? That was Ito. I already told you about him. He's the commander of the PMCs that were brought here. Ito and his triad. Triad? His three lieutenants, each assigned to a specific task. Danko was in charge of cleaning the facility until he was killed in action. Marcus is leading the science team at gunpoint to search for a cure or a way to stop the infection. As for Royce, he's the one who's in charge of tracking down the runaways from the facility. They are highly trained professionals who've been used countless times by anyone with a problem and a large paycheck. They always get the job done, no matter the body count, and they are loyal only to Ito. With Danko dead, and with Royce tracking down runaways, it only leaves Marcus and Ito, and they are not a force to be reckoned with. As for Ito, from what we heard on the radio, he's not really on good terms with Ito. I've heard crazy stories about that kid, but I didn't believe any of it until now. Fucking hell, he's been working here for over three weeks, and I didn't realize who he was or what he could do. His father had him trained since he was born, and he has access to some pretty nifty technology. That cloaking device is part of the weapons development side projects. I didn't even know it was operational. But if he has it, then so does Ito and his men. Oh, that can't be good. What? Like we don't have enough trouble as it is. Now cloaked people too? Fuck that, man. I'm gonna hide in the closet and wait till this shit's over. Well, I don't think they could have gotten into mass production of this thing yet. If I haven't heard about it, it means it wasn't officially approved. Which means A, it's not fully operational, and B, there won't be too many of them around yet. Well, that's comforting. Instead of fighting invisible people, we'll fight blinking people. All right, Raito said he left the North Wing access open, but now Ito knows we're coming. So what's the plan? Same as before. We just need to be more careful. Scout the North Wing before attempting to get to the next level. Jake, I strongly recommend you stock up on weapons and ammo before heading over to the North Wing. Head over there whenever you're ready.
one now. So, is it coming? Damn. I knew it. They disabled the elevators. Wait! What? You got something? Yes, apparently the consoles for these elevators are on this level. Alright, Jake, try to find that console. It should be somewhere nearby the elevator. Also, they probably had to come down there to the same level, which means well, guess what? not alone. A good friend of mine we made a plug in a program that gives me access to some of the other doors in the complex and...
Remember how I said it was really easy to get into the network? And how I've been able to get a lot of data about the place, seeing cameras, accessing doors? Yeah. So? Well, it just seemed way too easy. I mean, the firewalls just went down after a couple of tries. And since then, I've been periodically disconnected, and I haven't been really able to, well, go everywhere I wanted to. What's your point? Well, I've been monitoring these cameras at the North Wing, and as I said, it took me a while to even get to view them. So when I saw they were turning off sometimes, I wasn't really paying attention. But then, I started noticing the pattern. I looked on the map, and the cameras were getting turned off in a very specific way. It's marking a path. Be clear, then! Damn it, don't you get it? Someone let me in the network. They've been feeding me info and letting me see what they wanted me to see. And the cameras that have been turning off are probably just hiding something that they don't want us to see. Jake, the cameras on the North Wing access just went off now. It's a trap! Jake!